How Book 3 Raising Kanan is going to center around a young Kanan Stark. Considering this show is all about the rise of Kanan and what made him the cold, ruthless and strategic character that we saw in power. But Power Book 3 Raising Kanan is going to be more than just a story about Kanan. It's going to paint the whole picture about his family, his past, how he grew up, his relationships with not just his mother Raquel but his relationships with his two uncles Marvin and Lulu and his cousin Jukebox. We're going to see how Kanan became this character that we saw in power who was filled with absolute brute aggression and force but also a character who could remain calm and make calculated moves based on his enemy's position and plays. The story will involve a power struggle with his mother Raquel fighting to dominate the streets with her rival Unique and how Power Book 2 Ghost is showing us the rise of Tariq. Power Book 3 Raising Kanan is going to show us the rise of Kanan in a similar manner but it's going to be a lot more grittier and raw being set in the 1990s. So this is the first character breakdown video that I'm going to be releasing over the next week in the lead up to Power Book 3 Raising Kanan and there's no better way to start this character breakdown series than with the main character himself Kanan Stark. So if you are new to the channel and you haven't done so already then remember to smash the subscribe button if you want to see everything Power Book 3 related with reviews breakdowns and storyline breakdowns as we get close to that premiere date of July the 18th. But let's have a look at Kanan's character profile, his family, his characteristics and his character description. Kanan is a son to Raquel and there's no mentions of his father. There were early rumours that Omar Reps who is playing Detective Howard could be Kanan's father. But I don't think that's the case because we have to rewind it back to season 5 of Power when Tony Teresi was released from prison. In a conversation with Tommy, Kanan told him to give it a chance with him since he didn't have a father himself. So I don't think we'll see him but we may hear stories about who he is and why he's not in the picture. They could write someone in a twist but we'll have to wait and see if this happens. But his uncles are Marvin and Lulu who will be two of many mentors for Kanan and his cousin Jukebox who I'm sure Kanan will spend a lot of time around and this is his main family. Now blood doesn't necessarily make someone family and Kanan will have friends who I'm sure he does consider as family and I want to touch on one character in particular in later on in this video. But Kanan does have a son Sean who we saw in power but whether or not not they explore this storyline later on, we'll have to wait and see, but that's the bulk of Kanan's family. Now Kanan's characteristics and personality is of course going to be different to what we saw in Power. We have to set our expectations that this isn't the Kanan coming out of prison, making chess moves against his enemies. This is Kanan who's going to be smart, but he's still going to be very naive very early on in the game and he's eager to get out on the streets and hustle and be a hustler, just like we heard him in the trailer telling Raquel that he wants to get out on the corners. And we even see a glimpse of him selling in the official trailer, so he's an ambitious kid who's going to be trying to make a name for himself as well. Now in power, Kanan was a deadly and merciless character as we witnessed with many kills. He was also planning three moves ahead, trying to take back the organization that he built and the organization that was taken from him by Ghost and he was a character like Tommy, being loyal to what was loyal to him and that's the streets. You live by the street, you die by the street. So let's have a look at Kanan's character description. Smart, driven and still naive, Kanan's world revolves around his mother Rack, who raised him herself. She's everything and at the same time, he's beginning to get a sense of not only the world around him but his place in this world. Kanan wants to be just like his mother and that's the problem. He's young, wide-eyed and doesn't know how the hustle works and even more importantly, his mother is not nearly as keen for him to follow in her footsteps. There's a complicated relationship that only gets more problematic as time goes on. So as I described Kanan's traits and power, he was someone who had been in the game for years, so we can't expect the same in raising Kanan. But his character description does paint a picture of a character who's going to be smart, a hustler, and this is Kanan who's going to be learning the way of the streets with many harsh lessons to come for him, just like we saw in the trailer where he's going to be robbed by these men and what looks like Marvin having his back and coming to his rescue. And I'm going to come to his relationship with Marvin, Jukebox and Lulu in just a moment. But majority of this character description is taken up with the relationship with his mother Raquel because his world is going to revolve around his mother Rack. She's going to be his everything and we're going to see how both of them want to protect each other and it's a similar relationship to what we've seen with Tasha and Tariq. We have two characters, Tariq and Kanan, who want to hustle. They want to be in the game and we saw Tasha reluctantly accepting that this is who Tariq is and if he's going to be in the game then she was going to teach him. We're going to see a very similar relationship and build up with Kanan and Raquel where Raquel will do everything to protect Kanan because he's going to be her world. She even wears Kanan's name around her neck which is why she wants to keep him away from these grown folks business but she'll realize very early on that there's no stopping Kanan entering this life. Raquel will accept Kanan for who he is and teach him you want to be in it, you win it. And he's going to be just like his mother at the end of the day. And that's the problem, he's young and he's going to be very naive at first. 
their relationship is going to be complicated and problematic as time goes on and I can only assume that as a young kid Kanan will cause some problems for Raquel just like Tariq did at a young age for his family taking matters into his own hands killing Ray Ray using Tasha's gun that caused a real problem for their family and his decisions ultimately had consequences which resulted in, in him setting up Kanan and I think we're going to see Kanan's actions having consequences and he's going to have to learn quickly about who he is and who he's going to have to become in order to survive. We're going to be introduced to an even younger version of Kanan and possibly a short story about his family's past this may be the very first few scenes that we see in raising Kanan or it could be a flashback of some sort but there's going to be so much to Kanan than what the character description tells us something that we should look out for and to be excited for is this relationship with Marvin power showed us the traits of Kanan where he was deadly merciless and absolutely ruthless so if you're wondering where Kanan learned these traits then Marvin just may be your answer we saw in the trailer Marvin telling Kanan that he's in training, time to get them reps in. We're going to see Marvin mentor Kanan as well as protect him and have a real father-son type of relationship with Kanan, especially because Kanan not having a father figure around, he'd be looking for someone to fill the void and Marvin will fill this void to some sort of extent, especially because Marvin doesn't really see eye to eye with his daughter who's jukebox. London Brown was on Instagram some weeks ago and mentioned that he's going to be one of many mentors and teachers for Kanan as he's making his way in the streets. He's the one who taught him how to clean a gun and we're going to see Kanan taking facets of Marvin as the show progresses as well as Lulu and some other characters who I'm going to touch on in just a moment. Now Marvin is a character that Raquel doesn't really consider as a decision maker but Lulu is and along with Raquel and Lulu this is where Kanan could have learned how to be strategic, calm, calculated and make decisions without emotion. There's still going to be so many more mentors who come and go along the way such as Scrappy who Raquel orders to teach Kanan the inner workings of the family business with Scrappy being one of Raquel's most trusted soldiers. There's of course Breeze who we all heard a number of times throughout past and at some point Kanan took over the family business and he would have had to make some tough decisions along the way and he would have had to kill many people and also people that he loved. How can you kill someone you love? Some say you ain't a real killer till you do. So who did Kanan kill that he loved? Whoever he does kill, I'm sure he'll have the same emotion that we saw in the scene between Ghost and Roller for example. Now loyalty will be a huge theme throughout Power Book 3 raising Kanan as he always is associated with power and one of the most loyal to Kanan will be his friend Sean and Jukebox and it's very iconic that his best friend is called Sean and Kanan named his son Sean but it's something I want to talk about in a bit more detail and I'm going to do a short video on Sean and Kanan which I'll release in the coming days so remember to turn on your notifications on for the videos to come but Jukebox and Kanan will have a real strong relationship growing up we learned a lot about their relationship during the conversation in season 3 episode 3 I would urge all of you to re-watch this scene between Kanan and Jukebox before the premiere of Raising Kanan because they explain in this scene how Juke was the first person who Kanan called when he dropped his first body and Kanan was the first person to find out that Juke fucked with girls so they confided in each other and we'll see Juke and Kanan having each other's backs especially when it comes to someone like Davina who Kanan really needs to be careful of. Davina is a character that Kanan has a crush on and she's also someone who could be working for Unique. Davina is going to be kicked out of school for having a fight and Kanan's going to be there for her but if she's working for Unique who's going to be Raquel's rival then can Kanan trust her? Trust will play a huge factor too with Kanan and Davina early on. We saw how Tariq was burned by Effie in power because he was too trusting and too naive. And I really wouldn't be surprised to see something similar happen to Kanan very early on in raising Kanan. But let me know what you guys think about Kanan, his relationship with Raquel, Marvin and Jukebox, the characteristic differences between Powers Kanan and the young Kanan and generally what to expect from Kanan. I'm going to be dropping daily videos from now on so remember to smash the subscribe button as well as having the notification bell turned on if you haven't done so already. But as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.